Happy Thursday everyone. Grab your cup of coffee and enjoy this beautiful figured maple bowl that I'm going to be turning. I'm turning this bowl for a friend of ours named Mose. He owns a cabinetry shop and he, this come from his father's farm. So I want to make sure that I give back to him. So I've had this wood for, oh man, it has to have been... It, it has to be a couple years and it was just a nice big chunk of of wood that we've been kind of saving and we decided to go ahead and take it out over the weekend and get it cored and I decided to go ahead and turn his bowl because the moisture content was right about where I wanted it and as I was turning I did check it and the that Saturday April 1st it was at 12 percent when I started turning this on Monday it was down to nine percent so I know as I'm turning it the moisture content is just going to keep going out of it which in turn will help this bowl from changing shape I really hope you guys enjoy this video I will jump back in here periodically to kind of let you know what I'm doing I just want to clean up the side of this bowl because I don't want to go back to that rim um, once I'm done with it. So what I'm doing here is I'm just shear scraping and trying to remove. I have a thicker spot in this bowl and I want to get that um, removed but I don't want to take too much off at a time so that's why I'm using my bowl gouge to do some shear scraping. Then I'll go and remove the bottom part of this bowl and we can get it sanded up and put a finish on it. I really hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. If you are don't forget to give me that thumbs up and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this turn enjoy the rest of the video guys i will jump back in here towards the end to kind of let you know what i'm doing and what finish i'm using
as I was coring the, wo the wood that this bowl come from, Mika has to lay underneath me for everything that I'm doing. If it's dishes, whatever, Mika's there. And that's, when I come to the shop, the same thing. So as I was coring this, you know, she has to be right there as close to me as possible. And, you know, that's really hard to break her to, to get her back when I'm doing like a wood that, she, you know, I really don't want her to be in contact with because it could make her sick. So it's, it's a challenge, you know, having a shop dog and, and trying to teach them all that kind of stuff. All right, guys, we're getting close to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me that like. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you never miss out. I will discuss the uh, turn and as well as the finishing part of this at the end of this video. Stick around for that as well as glam shots. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This bowl turned out really good, minus I'm not too happy with the finish. Um, after I was done turning this, I did sand it from 80 to 400 grit. And then after I was done with that, I blew it off with the air hose and wiped it back with denatured alcohol to remove any residual dust that might be present. Now I used Waterlux, it's um, the satin finish and it's a resin modified tongue oil um, finish. And I think I said that right. But I'll have a link in the video description if you're interested in trying it. But I don't really think that I followed um, the instructions completely. Unless it's the way I buffed it. I don't know. But it's very streaky. Um, and I don't, I don't like that look. And I don't know how to fix it. Because I have no way of turning, of putting this back on the lathe and sanding it back and finishing it. I don't know if maybe I could take 400 grit and go in there and, and do that and then buff it with hand buff it with a rag, if that would make a difference. But I just don't I just don't care much for that streakiness. But other than that, I love the shape of the bowl. I think it's really nice. There's the bottom. Let me know in the comments what you think. Alright guys, until next week, you take care, stay safe, God bless, bye.